Hello, manifestors. Let's talk about when your manifestation takes place. When does it take place? Because as always, I hear many people say, when, when, when is my manifestation coming? There's no such thing as when, if it's already done. So this is what we are going to discuss today, guys. My name is Sylviane, and I am a manifesting coach. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching or email coaching or group coaching, the link is down below, as well as my manifesting guide. So when does your manifestation take place? If you know me, if you know what I teach, I always encourage my audience to reverse engineer their lives. What does that mean? Reverse engineering your life is going back into your past to some specific events that you've manifested. They could be big or not so big, just specific events circumstances that you can remember very clearly that they happened. How did they happen? What was your mindset? What was your feeling? What did you believe or did not believe when that happened? So if you go back in your manifesting journey, and as you know, we don't manifest only when we know about it, You've been manifesting your whole life, right? So, for example, if I go back into the moment when I manifested my specific person, I remember the date, the time of day, where I was, everything. Why do I remember everything about that? Why do I remember everything about this moment? Because it was when I manifested him, when I planted the seed. I know exactly how I planted the seed and when it happened, even though it's five and a half years ago. So when did I manifest my SP? At that moment. That's when I manifested him. When did he appear? When did he reflect that manifestation? Well, he reflected that a couple of months later, somehow, and fully a little bit later. So when your manifestation happened, guys, is when you imagine that you are that person or you assume that it is done that's when it happens so this is why that's another thing that i always say you can have doubts here and there during your manifestation during the time between the time you've planted the seed and the time you see your flower blooming so to speak right you can have doubts because as humans, that's part of the experience, that's part of the game, whatever you want to call it. I had doubts here and there. But you know what? It did not matter. And why did it not matter? Because I had planted the seed. Because my manifestation was happening now. It can always and only happen in the now. And it was at that time when I assumed this person is going to be in a relationship with me or I am going to be in a relationship with him. This is my man. That's when it happened. Therefore, I could afford to have little doubts here and there. But the thing is, the seed was planted my decision had been made. And even if I had little doubts, they were really surface doubt, as it were. They were not like me completely sinking into an opposite belief, an opposite assumption that my manifestation would never happen. One thing that I have said many, many times on this channel 
in my podcast, another content that I have out there is that when you imagine, you don't imagine to get something at some point later. You imagine to be. So whether it's a simple assumption, a simple thought, an imaginal act in a visual fashion, all of it is imagination. So no matter how you imagine, when you imagine that you are the person that you want to be, who has whatever they want to have, it's in the now. It is now. This is why your manifestation happens now, not later. This is a world of mirrors, a world of echoes, a world of reflections. So it only reflects later, but you've already imagined it. You've already planted the seed in the now when you imagined it. This is why imagination creates reality, not just when you want, by the way, but all the time. So if right now, for example, you are imagining that you can't, for some reason, you are imagining that you can't have your desire, whether it's a specific person, health, money, a house, a job, whatever. You are imagining right now that somehow you can't have it for whatever rational reason from the monkey mind you are creating. If you are imagining that, then this is what is going to happen. Right now, you are planting the seed. I cannot, for some reason, for whatever reason, I cannot have my desire. So that seed is being planted now, in the now, in your imagination. Therefore, it will reflect. This is the only reason, guys, you are waiting and waiting and waiting for your desire to the point that you are feeling that it's not working. <laughs> but it is working very well indeed, because the thing is you are planting the wrong seed. You are planting the seed. This is not happening. My desire is not happening. I can't have it or whatever you are doing. You are planting the wrong seed. Therefore, you get the wrong result, right? The unwanted result. You, if you are planting the seed of a carrot, you cannot grow an apple tree, right? You are planting carrots, you're getting carrots. You are planting apple trees, you are going to get apple trees and eventually apples. But you cannot get another kind. The Bible talks about that, by the way. You know that when we talk about the Bible, we talk about the textbook of this law. You reap what you sow, and you can only reap the same kind of seed that you have sown. Keep this in mind, guys, because once you really get that, not just, again, not just intellectually, but once it really sinks in, you are going to be able to change your life forever. So when you are looking for time, when you are focusing on bridges, when you are looking at the clock, when you are wondering when and where and how, you are actually getting in your own way, you're wasting your time and energy, and you are doing it all wrong, even though I don't really like that word. But really, this is a waste of time and energy. Because when your manifestation happens, it happens the moment you decide, the moment you feel that it is true and that it is done and that it is what you want. That's when it happens. If you want to use techniques in the middle, if you want to do whatever you want in the middle, if you just want to live your life and don't even think about this thing anymore, it doesn't matter because your seed was planted. If I go back not only to that specific 
manifestation. But if I go back into my life, I can easily see that once I had planted a seed, it was planted and it grew into a full-blown 3D manifestation. And the reason why, it's because the only time you are manifesting, it's in the now when you decide that it is done. If you feel that you are waiting too long, maybe you haven't really decided yet, you haven't really believed in your desire fulfilled. That's all it is. But if you really plant that seed, whether you are using SATs or a simple assumption like I did for my SP, once the seed is planted, that's when it is done. There is no waiting. There is no wondering how, where, and when. Because it's already done. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share it if you think that some people can take advantage of this teaching. And thank you very much for the wonderful comments and emails and messages that you guys are sending me saying how helpful my teaching is for you and how it changes your lives. I appreciate it very, very much. Again, subscribe, like, and comment, and share if you can. And check the links down below if you want my help. And as always, see you next time. Bye-bye for now.